Hi, my name is Dr. John James with Colorado Allergy and Asthma Centers, and I have a special interest in food allergies, which we'll be talking about today. A food allergy is an adverse reaction to a food that is triggered by an immune response in the body. For example, peanut allergy is secondary to an immunologic response to proteins in peanuts so that if a patient ingests that food and they're allergic to it, they will have an allergic reaction. The most common food allergens are peanut, egg, cow milk, wheat, soy, tree nuts, shellfish, and fish. So we learned Gunnar had food allergies when he was 10 months old. We gave him scrambled eggs for the first time. The next thing we know, he couldn't stop coughing and he had fluid coming out of his nose and his mouth and it was really scary. And we got in the car and rushed to the emergency room. Patients frequently wonder how long after they ingest a food allergen will their symptoms become apparent. Typically, they come soon after the food allergens are ingested and usually within minutes to an hour. The four major allergic reactions to foods or symptoms we see clinically include skin symptoms such as hives, swelling of the skin, and itching. If I eat salmon, there's lots of hives on me. The gastrointestinal system, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and abdominal pain. Gunner is allergic to eggs, peanuts, tree nuts, food allergies, salmon, oranges, citrus fruits. He has a lot of oral allergies. He is an extreme allergic asthmatic. Common respiratory symptoms that result from a food allergy reaction include cough, shortness of breath, chest tightness, wheezing, clearing of the throat, and tightness in the throat, and systemic allergic reactions or anaphylaxis. Anaphylaxis is a severe systemic allergic reaction to a food allergen. And this has the combination of symptoms, including skin, gastrointestinal, respiratory, and cardiovascular symptoms. They do not need to all occur together, but they certainly can. Anaphylactic shock is to where basically your throat closes up like this. If these symptoms of anaphylaxis occur, you need to call 911 immediately. Here at Colorado Allergy and Asthma Centers, we are very focused on the proper diagnosis of food allergy. The first area that is most important is taking a good clinical history. We have to know from the patient and their families what they are talking about in terms of symptoms and if they are suggestive of a food allergy. Second, we would then move on to diagnostic allergy testing. And the best way to do this is with standard allergy skin testing in the office in the standard fashion. The third method that can be used are blood tests for determining an allergic sensitivity to a food. This is similar to the skin test, so we don't always go to that unless we cannot perform skin testing on a patient. Another method we use frequently at Colorado Allergy and Asthma Centers are oral food challenges. And these are extremely important because this is really the 100% test to determine if a patient has a real allergic reaction to a food or not. So we do these in the office under observation and we're prepared to treat any type of adverse reaction such as anaphylaxis. In terms of the treatment for food allergy, there is no current cure for this disease. But there are several things we can do and implement with the patient and their families. First of all, after identification of the food allergy, there needs to be appropriate elimination of the food allergen in all forms to prevent an allergic reaction. The second would be then education, education of the patient, the family, other caregivers, the schools, and other places where the patient would be interacting to stress the importance of the elimination and not having an exposure or accidental ingestion to the food allergen. The next part of treatment of a food allergy is to stress the importance of a written action plan for the patient. So this would list the food allergens that they have and would list what treatments need to be given if a reaction occurs. The most important therapy that we stress is the use of epinephrine. And these come in auto-injector devices and they are prescribed to the patient 
and they really need to carry these with them at all times. I carry an EpiPen everywhere. It's my best friend because it saves my life. I have to call ahead to restaurants everywhere I go if I don't know if I can eat it or not or if it has an allergy in it or not and there's a huge question mark, I just don't eat it. I have been taught that every time you eat something, look over the ingredients first. A frequent question we get from our patients and their families is the issue of can they outgrow their food allergies? Children are very likely to outgrow their food allergies, such as allergies to cow milk, egg, wheat, and soy. Adults are less likely to outgrow their food allergies, and they're typically allergic to peanuts, tree nuts, shellfish, and fish. So it is dependent somewhat on the type of food that they're allergic to, but it's also dependent on the age of the patient. The most common question we get in clinic related to food allergies is the difference between a food allergy and a food intolerance. Food allergies are an immunologic reaction to the food that leads to adverse clinical symptoms, whereas food intolerance is an adverse physiologic response to the food, not immune triggered. Symptoms of food intolerance can be similar to a food allergy, but are less severe and are usually limited to the intestinal tract or gut. Colorado allergy and asthma is like a second home for us. We're there so often, not because he's constantly having reactions, but because we're trying to prevent reactions with certain injections. But we walk in and it's family. They get excited when they see Gunner and they're, oh, Gunner's here, Gunner's back. It makes me feel happy because I know I'm in good hands. And I've been there since I was like 10 months, maybe a year old, and they've seen me grow up over the years. I choose to drive an hour and a half to this office because of the people. They're always gonna be there for me to do whatever they can in any appointment, in any call, in any question I have. I know they're gonna be there and I feel loved here.